Football is a sport that generates a lot of high profile stories, but sometimes the best go unnoticed by the media and actually come from non league rather than England's Premier League and Football Leagues. But when you think of the longest service manager in English football, that you might find, think of the Premier League. Well, you're wrong. Gordon Butler at Wilson has been the manager there since 1995 and he goes through his highs and lows. Massively. I mean, when I first came, Paul Rumors said to me, within a year we'll have a new stadium. I think it was something like 15 years before we came here and this is not exactly a new stadium. So the offer of Prince Ed was playing fields, which it uh, looked like being. It was, I mean, the stand was built, the, the pitches were all laser levelled. We went down there and had a tingle down my spine. That was exciting, excitement. Within sort of 18 months, I went back there again, had a tear rolling down my cheek because we hadn't got it. People that were building it um, had gone bust and that dream disappeared. Gordon then explained how Wilson bounced back from their stadium disappointment and how euphoric it was winning promotion in 1997 and also winning the Ramen Premier in 2014. Um, well, the early days, you know, we, we won uh, Division 3. I think it was the second season I was here. And um, we had a sticky road last couple of games, hadn't won, uh, and you're just beginning to have the doubts, I think the fans had the doubts, but we eventually won it in the last uh, probably 20 minutes, playing at Northwood, and we won it 3-2. And it wasn't just a great moment, I think the evening was the presentation night as well, uh, and, and just that was a big evening because we had to get this club you know, going forward. In the end, their guy at the crossbar on the last one, Richard Jolly scored and we went up basically because of that much. The difference between success and failure was them in the crossbar and that was a great moment and then obviously winning the league a couple of years ago at Margate, I'll never forget that. Um, you know when Charlie Penny got the winner over there we knew it was all over and we won the championships. That's Gordon's take on his time at Willstone so far, who knows what holds for the club that's always on the rise.